guys. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It's about 3 p.m. Uh, I can't I can't put into words how, how angry I am today. Um, first, I heard about these these 700 protesters in Michigan. Um, let me just say so. What I've been looking over, I wanted to see what the conditions in Michigan are to see if these people had any valid reason to to make such a fuss over what the whole rest of the country is dealing with. Um, Michigan is about seventh. It's, it's very high up on the coronavirus, uh, new cases and deaths. I, I believe they they have 37,000 cases. Um, and um, coming up on 4,000 deaths, if I'm not mistaken. So it's, it's very, it's very high up there. They've got a lot. And, and I've been watching, um, since the last protest, there's some States that I watch every day to see. And, uh, every day they've had, they've had, they've had more, uh, a higher percentage than they should have compared to the rest of the States. Um, every day they have like six, seven, eight, nine hundred, a thousand, fifteen hundred new cases per day. Them, Illinois, Maryland, <laughs> um, Virginia, there's some, some states that have alarming, alarmingly high new cases every day. Now, I'm not a statistician and I'm not a, a health care worker or anything, but I've been watching the numbers on World Meters, the uh, probably the most trusted site, um, recording the daily um, coronavirus numbers. And Michigan is, is alarmingly high. Um, I was trying to look at their lockdown situation. It seemed like pretty much similar to the rest of us. Um, I, I think the governor extended the lockdown for another 28 days, I believe it was. And supposedly, as far as I could see, that's what infuriated these, um, protesters. Um, let, let me tell you what we got here in Connecticut. Um, we, we're, we're locked down for the rest of, of May. Uh, the, well, not locked down, but the same uh, precautions. Um, we have to we have to wear masks when we're out in public, or especially when we go into stores. Um, it's suggested or more or less demanded that, that when we go into a Walmart or Target, there's somebody at the door, and there should be just one person per family. Um, not, not like a whole family going in there, two, three, four people. That's not allowed. Um, no, no bars, no restaurants are open. And, and we're okay with that. We understand things, things are getting better here. And we're talking about uh, opening up, looking to open up some businesses in the next three weeks. Now, let me say, my my surgery was canceled. I, I am in extreme pain every day. I, I would love to see this lockdown end. I would love to see this coronavirus go down. I'm losing money with my art business. Um, not to mention, I, I should have had surgery a month ago. Um, um, it's getting to the point where I can't even walk. I, I would love nothing more than to have this end and to have us go back to work and have things go back to normal. I, I have so much to lose. Um, my mobility, I, I'm more than, I, I'll, I could be in a wheelchair if this goes on much longer, seriously. So it's not like I don't want this to end. Um, I truly don't understand. You know, I tried. I tried to find out what these people are so upset about um look some states uh have have a more of a relationship with the second amendment than the rest of us um you know like in texas um, there's guns there's gun shops everywhere it's, it's part of the state i understand that wyoming montana states like that it, you know hunting the, i understand that's just that's part of the state um the way the state is in alaska especially Michigan, I assume it, it's kind of like that too. I, I have no problem with people carrying guns. Um, so I'm trying to figure out why, why these people think they're special. They're entitled um, to to uh, ignore the, this health crisis, endanger their state, and specifically they're endangering their state. 
um, their neighbors by doing this. All, all we have to do is wait. Uh, just deal with this for another two. When it's not like we're locked in our houses. As you guys saw this morning, I was um, I was I was going out shopping again. Um, it's not like we're locked in the houses. The only thing I really miss right now is getting a haircut. I, I miss McDonald's, but I can still go through the drive-thru. I miss pizza, but I can still order some. Honestly, it's it's not that bad. And um, with the economic help, the stimulus, uh, people should be doing a lot better. I, I don't understand why people... Seriously. Um, these people are acting like there's tanks out in front of their house that'll shoot them if they come out the front door. That, that's how they're acting. That's how they're talking. Waving their don't tread on me flags. Um, they seem to think that for some reason they are entitled to this freedom. It, it's interesting. Um, Trump supporters specifically, and that, that, that group, the Tea Party, seem to think that by living in America, their freedom entitles them to pretty much any damn thing. Um, you know, they could do pretty much do whatever the hell they want. Um, cause it's, this is America. Um, no, no. Um, and, and to me, they're acting childish. It's just, it, it's, it's a, it's a, even the Trump supporters in this state are disgusted and embarrassed by what's going on in Michigan. I'm, I'm totally serious. I haven't, I have not talked to one person in this state that approved, uh, goes along with that. Now, let me go on to what's really, really got me fired up. President Trump tweets this morning. He tweets that these people, so they entered the courthouse, they entered the state house armed. Uh, one of the, one of the uh, lawmakers was concerned. She said she got yelled at, the, 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 the protests were yelling at her. Some of the state, uh, some of the, the um, legislator, le legislators are wearing uh, Kevlar vests now from the last time. This is no way to live. Um, so anyway, they all enter there. Um, they start yelling their demands that this has to be ended, that they, they feel that it's a dictatorship, that their governor, who happens to be Democrat, if it was a Republican governor, come on, let's be honest, if this was a Republican governor, and I just found out too, Whit Whitmer, Gretchen Whitmer, she, she's a, a, a quite a likely candidate to be vice president with Joe Biden. There you go. There's your answer right there. That's what this is all about. It's not about freedom. It's not about... You know, you don't see the rest of the country as, acting like freaking idiots. Acting like little spoiled 10-year-old kids. I want my rights. I want to get my hair cut. Wah. I want to go to the bar. Seriously. It's all about the Democratic governor. So, so Trump tweets that they're very good people. He, yeah, he uses that line again. That I think he, what, he used that, what, last time with the tiki torches? The white supremacists marching, was it, in Virginia? They're very good people. This is, this is getting to be too much. Too, too, too damn much, man. We have a president who on one hand is saying one thing and who on the other hand is turning around and inciting, inciting riots, potentially violent situations, not to mention the bleach stuff. Uh, this has gone beyond, gone beyond what's acceptable. Um, he, he, he can't be in office anymore. This has to stop. This has to stop by any means necessary. Um, so anyway, he, uh, he, t he tweets that they're very good people. This is the part. And he suggests to Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Whitmer that she give in to him. That she talk to him. Hear what they want.
So he, he's basically supporting these these people breaking in, going into the, the state house and demanding their freedom. Wanting the rest of the country is okay with this. The rest of the country were, you know, take, for instance, California. The governor closed all the, they were all, did you see the pictures in California? All the Californians were out. It was, it was boiling hot in the 90s. All the Californians were out enjoying the beach. Governor shuts down the beaches, the whole state. Okay, got to do what we got to do. I'm sure they're not happy about it, but they're not rushing the state house with guns. This is how Americans are supposed to act. This is how patriots are supposed to act. This is how responsible adults act. It's not about you and your right to go get your hair cut. It's, it's just, it's so, it's, it's immature. It's, it's self-centered. It's embarrassing that the whole rest of the world is, is seeing this and that the president is, is egging it on. So on one hand, he was saying that the, we're going to do this for the rest of May, you know, and he was almost talking normal after the bleach incident. And then out the other side of his mouth, he's encouraging these protesters. Liberate, remember what he was saying? Liberate Michigan. Well, they took you up on it. Um, he, he, he's advocating the overthrow of a Democrat governor. And this Democrat governor just happens to be who he and his, who and Pence are going to run against. This isn't, a, this isn't about freedoms. This isn't about the Second Amendment. Um, this is about Donald Trump encouraging armed demonstrators to attack his his rival in the in the November elections, plain and simple. Um, it, it goes beyond. It goes. <laughs> I I don't even know what to say about this. It's it's unacceptable. It's completely unacceptable. And uh, to the people, to those protesters in Michigan, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're making your whole state look bad. You're making the whole country look bad. And uh, grow up. All you got to do is wait another three weeks. You can't do that. You know, like I said, it's not like you're locked in your house. What is so tough about it? It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, disgusting, disgraceful. And Trump, what Trump's doing is, is downright criminal. Encouraging this. Criminal. And it's all about the election. I don't want anybody to tell you it's about freedom. All right, you guys have a good Friday.